easier to navigate Rumble than it is. Uh, oh, I guess we're on. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Top of the time zone. I'm now in C and got Hold on, Jesse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Top of the time zone. I'm Alan C. You're with Johnny J in the house here on the Intervision FM universe. You're not going to want to miss today's podcast. Brought to you by Bonefields Foundation, Christian Brothers Moving Company, Englewood, Colorado. Also, Richard Damiano of the Littleton Eye Clinic. Stay with us. Oh my God. That's who we love, and that's who we serve. Is it running now? Yeah. Hi, everybody. This is the Godfather, so James Brown. I tell you, this business is on. My man is on. Check him out. This is the Godfather, so James Brown saying, stay with it and hit it. Okay. Okay. It's been interesting today. Uh, where do I start? <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. It's uh, 1st of July. We're getting ready to kick off the 4th of July weekend. Uh, well, I guess, did they consider last weekend 4th of July weekend? What happens when um, 4th of July falls on a thursday folks uh don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment down below <laughs> usually it falls on the weekend didn't it yeah it's, it's definitely been crazy um so if you see listed on there that we're going to have a uh, radio interview with tony that's not happening tonight um calvin the, the host of the show is Somehow something happened to his wife's car, and so he has to pick her up from from work. And and the station is in Denver, and she's in Colorado Springs. So ah, short you know. story long, it's uh, postponed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'll see when we can book it again. This is the second time we've had to cancel. The the other time was a it was it was Father's Day, and so he was on a, a vacation until that you know that next day. So. Calendar services, I guess, are not that perfect, but when they're perfect, they work, and when they're not, they're not. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> a lot of fun stuff has been happening since since last Thursday, Friday, Sunday. You guys, I, I didn't put it in here because I just heard it uh, on the Chuck and Julie show. Uh, Jill Balins, she's making demands for her exit. Or for Joe's exit. Oh, well, so now she they're won. okay. So just they to want catch seven everybody. billion dollars, right? Well, they, yeah, <laughs> seven million dollars for a book deal. Wow. She wants to make she wants to make sure that uh, no one can come after her for for the criminal things that have been done in the family. <laughs> so she wants immunity. Well, they they right? already yeah, but yeah, they're. Those aren't um, official. They're maybe official acts, but they aren't lawful official acts. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna hang. So she, yeah. <laughs> their crime was, family is coming to an end. It was something else. It was a third one there. I don't remember what it was, but it, the, the book deal, the uh, immunity, and it was something else she wanted. Um, I, I had to listen to the show show again, but you you'll probably hear about these. Uh, these demands because of Chuck and Julie had got it somewhere on the internet, and I just didn't remember the third, <laughs> the third one. You know, it's interesting, Johnny, because the way that this news cycle is developing hour by hour, I feel the yeah. need to catch people up. So hmm. Thursday, the debate happened. Um, Joe didn't do so well. Friday, uh, mm -hmm. Joe was out speaking to a bunch of folks and saturday he also had a i guess some sort of fundraiser uh yeah. during during this time uh looks like you know he had been approached by some folks obama maybe 
perhaps Nancy Pelosi, mm-hmm. uh, you know, all the uh, three Obama, yeah. Clinton, and Pelosi. Yeah, you know, yeah it's just, didn't, didn't somebody say it sounded kind of like that she had been drinking, uh, 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 had uh, a few, <laughs> yeah. too many drinks? She yeah. was heavily <laughs> medicated. <laughs> She was, uh, she was possibly having somehow, a- somehow I could picture her with the glass in there saying, woohoo. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she was slurry. Just, she was kind of slurring a little bit. I, 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 have, <laughs> I have, I have dentures like she does. So I'm, uh, I'm entitled yeah. to uh, sort of make fun of her a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, yeah. So does Cam- I heard does Kamala that. have dentures? <laughs> no, Kamala does not have dentures, but uh, she went she's out. She's just a she solid, was... solid, uh, oh, she's, solid she's head. mad. She's mad. Yeah, she's, she's not a... being considered. Yeah, she's an unhappy yeah, keeper. She, yeah, she could hear that, that they're thinking about, like, we need to get rid of you and, and and put you, give you a seat in the Senate. And she said, well, I don't want to be in the Senate. I want to be, I want to be the the president or <laughs> the presidential the presidential. I want you to do what you did for Joe with me that you didn't do with Hillary. You know, it's she funny. Just, just a few hours ago, uh, the Biden campaign sent an email out to supporters, and it had seven different things on there uh, that basically was a list of rebuttals that you could make to your Republican friends about why you want Biden in the uh uh, in the presidency, why he should, uh, number one, stay in the presidency, number two, uh, be reelected. Uh, so it is interesting now, hours later, to hear rumblings of, okay, Jill is finally starting to cave. She does not want Joe's legacy to be destroyed. And mm. so therefore, here, $7 million, book deal, uh, maybe a movie, thing you know let's uh let's get rid of the crime stuff uh surrounding the family all that kind of stuff it's uh it's absolutely insane i mean so what do we do so what do we do oh and then um oh man i just i just lost my my train of my train of thought um, I think we're going to start with uh, Big Mike. Okay. No, no. The, you know, there's a website uh, called uh, MichelleObama.com. Okay. And uh, this guy gives, like, he lays out the the reason why he thinks that uh, she, they're going to nominate her because she has these millions, hundreds of millions of, of followers, which you pointed out, Alan, that these could be bots. Oh, you know, more than and, uh, yeah, and that uh, she is popular book, though. Yeah, yeah she, and is, she, and she is. And she lied in a book, just like Obama lied that that she went, she was living in a poor neighborhood. Matter of fact, she did not live in a poor neighborhood, and she would get chased by the by the black people that would see her because they they thought of her as an Oreo. But <laughs> <laughs> but she and then she um. Something about like the the colleges that she went to, and and that she instead of picking, uh, she picked the mag, a mixer. Is is Obama? Is he a light skin uh, African mix with 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 a white? Yeah, he's, he's light skin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I mean they were just pointing out all kinds of things. Why you know she's she's acting like she's down with the, with the hood, but she's not. And then I saw uh, Carmela on BET Network. Talking about well, we don't have any rights to vote, and we don't have. I'm thinking like, what? Where? You weren't even around 50 years ago. I don't. Well, you were barely around 50 years ago. <laughs> I think in 1965, like, it really started it. changing for the black community mm-hmm. and their mm-hmm. votes. Uh, and, and the and the women that were sitting around, said, uh huh, uh huh. I'm thinking like, you guys are all nuts. <laughs> <laughs> And it was like, it was just ridiculous. I don't know how they could keep rotating that. And as you guys were talking before you went to air, there's some people that are asleep. Mm-hmm. And will you be able to pull them out of the fire 
Mm -hmm. Or would they say, no, leave me alone, uh, you know, like, like, uh, who's the guy who, who went in the art? Um, and, and he told everybody and, and they didn't really believe him. And they just continue to have the, the weddings and everything and, until they went into the ark and closed the door. And, and then the rain kept going and it didn't stop. Yeah, and, there was some guy called Noah, if I remember yeah. correctly, the uh, Bible story. Uh, but, you know, putting that aside, because, you know, I'm minded of a poem um, or maybe a story. I don't know. It's something like. Doesn't have anything to do with Nantucket, I hope. No, That's... no, not too much. <laughs> you, know, you got, you got, you got the lie and you got the truth. And hmm. they're at a pool and the lie says to the truth, Hey man, come on in. The water's fine. The truth is suspicious. It says, well, okay, uh, whatever. But it tests the waters. Well, by golly, those waters are fine. So the truth takes off its clothes, gets in that pool with the lie, and the lie jumps out, tosses the truth's clothes on, and runs off. Well, the truth is naked. It tries to go and grab those clothes back, but now the truth is naked, so it hides away in its shame while the lie is running around in the truth's clothes. And Sooner mm. or later, the truth has a way of always coming out and reclaiming those clothing, th those articles of clothing. Those those pieces of righteousness are pieces mm. of righteousness for a reason. And yeah. those aren't controlled by humankind. They're not controlled by men. They're not controlled by woman. They're not controlled by any other, any other of the 64 genders that people mm. want to... Um, ascribe to that you know it's, yeah. just, it's just not the truth is the truth and that's there's not my truth and your truth and anybody you know the truth is just the truth and it has a way of coming out yeah I think we're we, seeing that today and also i, I want to go I, I just watched this video and i don't know if i sent it to you on it was on a, a healthy alternative this guy he talks about water water fasting mostly but he had this mm -hmm. guy in the show and he said like in 1920 the reset started. And, and he said the Spanish flu wasn't really the Spanish flu. It was because of, um, uh, we didn't have like water purifiers and, and water systems like we did now. And, and, sure. and, and it was like, they needed to reset, the banks needed to reset it so they can now charge us for the food. And they wanted to uh, modularize, put, put, all, put together these grocery stores because they had it in mind that that if if they can just get us to buy this produce rather than grow it in our backyards, then they can have more control over us because when you have control over the food, you get control of the people. That's absolutely and, right because 80% of the population in the United States was pretty much agrarian. And so that so we'd be growing our own food. We'd be yeah. existing on our on our own ability to hunt fish uh grow our food mm -hmm. do what's necessary and that's flipped i mean yeah. yeah and we had back in the 60s we had three trees big you know big trees in front of our house and for some reason the government said you have to cut those trees down yes. or whatever yes. and they yes. were fruit they were fruit trees yes yes right? uh, like, that's something that always gets forgotten um little things like that that uh take place where they go into neighborhoods or they go into gosh whole cities and they'll just go ahead and decide yeah we're going to condemn this neighborhood or yeah we're going to condemn this town we're going to build something right on top of it we're going to build like like melvin hey like melvin as a matter of fact uh has anybody ever heard of melvin colorado uh, oh okay i didn't hear of melvin colorado till yeah like mid-1979. And hmm. I heard a funny story about it. You got a you got a video on that mic or no? It just what well, video? Just the one I seen on Facebook. What does it say? Well, you know where Cherry Creek Reservoir is, right? Yeah. That's Melvin. <laughs> they, wow. They... they condemned the they condemned the land and made a reservoir. Huh. Wow. Yeah. If you dig back into the historical 
annals of what's happened because this is public record. So if you know to look for it, you can find the information. But obviously, mm. if you don't know to look for the information, yeah. you just think, well, Aurora, Colorado, which is where Melvin used to be till what, 1949. Mm. Um, you'd think Aurora, Colorado was always there or something, you know, or whatever. It's And I, I just heard this newscast about this, this guy went in the store, he, he shot it up. I think he killed so many people. So they closed mm. the store down. So they said okay. the nearest store is 30 minutes away. Okay. Right. And I'm thinking like, there, why shouldn't it be like, why shouldn't people, like we were saying, having little gardens in, in the backyard, are we, they make us so dependent yeah. on these, these mechanisms, these grocery stores, as if there was nothing before the grocery. And if you become an individual farmer, you know, you, you, you think like, can I do that? Well, yeah, you can. You can become an individual garden and, and feed yourself. Since they cut out means of, of scavenger being a scavenger, and when they're making these fifteen-minute cities, they're going to make it where they have to bring in the food, and you won't know how to make the food be, or grow the food because you're dependent on them to bring the food in. And we just got a grant. Grant, I got to tell you about this. And because of government, it's going to take them three or more months to get the funding to us. Yes. yes. I, want to, I want to fire these people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. it's, like, it's like, what are they doing? It's like, just print it out, cut it, send it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> three months well it's oh. interesting because you know people people doing these grants want to make sure that number one um the money being allocated for the grant is being used for what it's um what it's supposed to be used for uh, but you're absolutely right though i mean it, there is a there is a turnaround time and that turnaround time sometimes it, can be a bear it's always a turnaround time with the government yeah, and then it's like I said, I'm gonna, it has to be a, a better way. And so, uh, if you go to Intervision Records, it's it's not up because the funds are not there to to, to pay for the website. If you go to my political site, it's not up. <laughs> so, so maybe you got saying like you have to do this creatively. What what was there before there were websites and and so I have to go back to the time before flyers. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, indoors. Yeah, yeah. Not going making phone calls. I got phone numbers. Got I got a lot of phone numbers. So it's going to be interesting, like making that personal touch. So yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. So, uh, but I, but I, as I'm reading this stuff, and the, something about um, they found out. Uh, okay. You remember the guy that he made a lot of uh, things out of nuts, peanuts, Carver, George Carver. And then all of a sudden, within the last 30 years, there are kids that are allergic to nuts. And therefore, you can't have the nuts because we need to put them aside. And it was, and, and there are some nutritional things inside nuts but for some reason, they they give you this jab, then it makes you more allergic to whatever they want to turn you away from. So they want you to look over here. Huh. What they vaccine? Say, what vaccine? Huh. <laughs> and it's huh. like, and I was like, and I just noticed that I said, yeah, what's all this peanut allergy? And I, and, and I said, huh. does did anybody read about Carver? Why wants this peanut allergy back then? I, I've never even, wow, I've never even gone there before. I uh, never even yeah. thought of uh, George Carver, um, famous, uh, bl famous black fella that um, had just made all with, kinds of things with, with peanuts. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's like, 
but now they're on the uh, allergic list and 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 and, and and uh, this one guy said, he said he's, he's making his own peanut butter, not from the ones that the peanuts that have been sprayed by the chemicals, mm -hmm. but he, he found a farm that can get him natural peanuts and he can, he, he makes his own peanut butter. Wow. Because it's supposed yeah. to be some kind here, of. Here they what? make natural peanut butter. Do they? Who? And here in the Philippines, they make natural peanut butter. You buy it at the, uh -huh. at the farmer's market or at the market, yeah. the bread market. And it's, it's, Pretty tasty. You have to keep it stirred because oil always comes sure. to the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I so, remember the first time that uh, my mom got one of these health food kind of peanut butters and uh, she got it home and she opened it up and she's like, I'm taking it back. And <laughs> I'm like, what is that, mom? And she's, there's oil. It's, it's spoiled. And I'm like, no, mom, you got to stir that in. I'm like eight, nine years old, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, you got to stir that in. That's good stuff. You want that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed it. Yeah, yeah. Had the oil in the stuff. And then they said something about, okay, they leave the other carcinogens in the water, like like the uh, chlorine and stuff like that. But then they, there's something about the, the, the lead, lead pipes that cause, uh, was, was something that caused like um, a block against something unhealthy and then also our windows we just got our windows changed in, in my in my complex and they said don't use plastic frames because the metal frames they keep out the 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 signals some of these these signals that are coming in from the outside that are just floating through the air through the the um the g5 and all that kind of stuff and i i swear to you, they replaced our windows with plastic windows what else did they take away that was lead Paint. Paint. Yes. Yeah, lead paint. Yes. What does what does lead block? Uh radioactivity. Radiation. Free yeah. radicals, all kinds of yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah. So what are they trying what are they trying to do with that? Why why would they take away lead paint? Because you're eating it? I don't and know I'm anybody that's ever yeah. died from that. Ever. And I've never known anybody that would just go around it. I I I ate mud, but I didn't think about like I'm gonna grab some chips off the off the uh, wall. I've, I'm <laughs> sorry, I've never pulled any paint off of anything. And said, <laughs> <laughs> but that's Dude. a that, now the Tide Pod Tide Pods. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, they call that the uh, forbidden fruit. Yeah. <laughs> so and one, just for it, YouTube, yeah. just just for YouTube purposes, we're not condoning that. We're just kidding. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. Tide Pods. No <clears throat> yeah. And so whenever the government says they're here to help you, like Reagan says, uh, that is the most scariest word the government can say is Absolutely. we're here, here to help. help. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just looking at the stuff and oh, and then you know, they these wars and they, they send these people away because they said, "Well, we have to get rid of the the resistors." So we, we so we, we, you know, they they're patriotic, so we'll start up a war, get them in there, kill kill them, <laughs> and uh, it's just like when uh, when he was taking Fauci around to these different houses in Washington, and this black guy says, "Your stuff is based on fear." I, did you play? You you did play that? Are you? I think you tried to play that last week. Might have. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and so that would be another person that that. Look, look, Fauci in the face and said, I don't believe you because you're only talking fear. Be afraid and do this. Yeah. Yeah. And well, so, DC or is that, was that New York? I thought that was in New York. No, that was Washington. That was in, that oh. was in Washington, the Washington area. That was the, I think it was, I don't know if it was the, the, I don't know if it was the mayor of Washington, too. It was a lady and she was some kind of like, Politician or maybe healthcare provider, whatever, and and I remember when I went to the Denver General, and my, you know I was getting this the, the jab, and the nurse was, well, he just doesn't understand. No, the nurse was, well, he just doesn't understand. I like to find her now and say, well, yeah, yeah, what didn't I understand? That's right. That's right. That that you guys were were just there. Okay, you need to get a paycheck. So they said lie. And you get your paycheck, right? So that's why I figured it's like the news, the news department lie, and you get your paycheck. Hospitals, doctors lie, lie. and you get your paycheck. That's right. Yeah, 
My, my brother in Minnesota had uh, his one niece was a nurse. And he said, well, she swears it's real. I said, she's lying. No, she <laughs> isn't. <said>, okay. <laughs> oh, man. And well, it's just, you know, it just could wait. Be that, it could be that she was just, you know, uh, afraid like everybody else. You know, uh, well, afraid of losing her job or afraid. Yeah, uh, that That's it. Afraid of losing her job. That's, yeah. that's exactly it. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, really, yeah. that's all it boiled down to was the idea that the doctors and essential personnel like the uh, <clears throat> liquor store owners and dispensary or <laughs> I mean yeah. those and, guys and got this, to stay open and uh, this one guy remember like back when the AIDS came out Fauci yeah. was a part of that they said yeah. why yeah. was it only happening in this group of people yes yeah and it, it seemed like they told you what the symptoms were then they then if you got the Blue ammonia. You came in, and then they injected you with the stuff that can cause those symptoms. That's right. Oh man! Oh man! Oh. oh. Sounds like conspiracy theory. Yeah, it's all yeah. conspiracy theory. Yeah, man. So I don't know. Man. I try to stay as far away from. I mean, okay, you break a leg, you know, you know, okay, get shot, step, okay. But anything else, stay up. So I'm trying to stay as far and try to eat. I mean, try to eat something healthy or not produce in these factories. <laughs> the salmon that eats eats the other salmon? Oh, man. That's a weird science trip. So it's just, it's just like the, the guys, the Gates, the Bill Gates family, and all these these mega families, they have a plan, and and you're it. <laughs> yeah, well, John because... John Kerry's daughter said that they have to kill over they have to kill over a billion people or, or seven billion people. I don't remember exactly what it was hmm. for the new world order to 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 really happen. What's it about? Like each, each, wait, a minute, wait. A minute. Each family has to have about twenty eight hundred people. That they can control. It was some number like 128 or 128,000. Probably the lower number. But they were they all have to have this amount of number so they can control them more easy. Yeah. Oh, so you're talking about the ruling families then controlling the rest of the population and being right. over them is so an interesting thing that was um on the internet the other day, they were asking some of these environmentalists how much co2 do you think is in the atmosphere at first uh, some of these environmentalists they were like what co2 what's that <laughs> and so they had to clarify what well, co2 carbon dioxide how much carbon dioxide do you think is in the air currently even with all of the stuff that's going on these days you know, coal-fired plants and you know, everything, everything how much do you think is in there yeah hmm. uh, they came back with Five percent, seven percent, eight percent, and the actual figure ends up being zero point four percent. Zero point four percent, yeah. Yeah, not not mm -hmm. not uh, not four, not point, uh, blah, 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 blah. not four percent, but zero point four percent. So, mm -hmm. if that were to drop by even two degrees, that would endanger plant life, which plant life. Uh, produces our oxygen. <laughs> and yeah. so this graph was shown. Now, I can't see the graph, and I'd love to... Uh, I, I, I need to find this, but I, I was just thinking about this when you were talking. But uh, the graph was shown that, that they did studies 30, 40, 50 years back, and that 0.4% um, What am I trying to say? So like 50 years ago, it was a 0.3%. So it's only gone up a tenth of a percent over the last 50 years. Uh, hmm. and so there's these scientists that speculate that, um, you know, it'll fluctuate. It'll go up and down uh, in cycles. And it deals with, you know, the sun and sunspot activity, uh, other different whatever factors. But hmm. uh, 
you know, it is interesting. It, it is it is very interesting to hear the environmentalists push this stuff, and they themselves are are stuck because that's that's what they themselves were taught by these folks that just decided to make up figures 30, 40 years ago. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they're all getting stuck in their lies and they can't get out of it. No, and they can't get yeah. out. Like evolutionists, uh, yep. they're, they're they're starting to figure out uh, all of the dating techniques that they used can be very easily contaminated. Uh, hmm. Every single one of the methods used, like radiocarbon dating, uh, OLC dating, um, gosh, all these different um, ways to measure half-life and radioactive isotopes within a uh, a fossil they're just not they're just not there i mean you can't um you can't make some of these links that they're making uh, and there's a but the science is settled but the <laughs> but the science is settled sure yeah it's i think if you take anything away from this podcast, folks, do your own research. Um, be a critical thinker, and that's that's don't not. Don't use to, Google. Yeah, don't use Google. Oh. Do uh, research. Oh, in wow. libraries. Read real papers. Read um, publications. Yeah, sure. Uh, now online publications and you know things like that. Those can be digitally yeah. manipulated, but there's oh. still hard copy out there from you know years ago yeah. with correct info in it and going back to this cancer flu or cancer uh, virus whatever back then what they decided to do was they gave each person three oranges a day now when this this pandemic happened this time nobody even said anything about get outside in the sun uh, eat more eat more fruits eat more vegetables it was no take take our jab or take the highway. Well, that's an interesting uh, supposition. So what you're saying is in 19... 1917, 1919, yeah. this time frame, they were actually giving people or allotting, you will oh, get at least this much uh, vitamin C per day. Mm -hmm. Oh, Whereas, and they... Wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. And then uh, they, they had a, uh, the poor people uh, they were trying to force the jab in these people, and they said, "If you didn't take the jab, we would arrest. We will put you in jail." But you don't hear about that because you know they didn't have voices back then mm -hmm. to put that out there in in, in papers and, and stuff like that. But that that information is out there. So you're talking and, about and, the homeless communities, like the one that they had at the Coliseum uh, down well, in Denver. Is that? Well, I'm going to talk about the, oh, in 19, 1990 when that Spanish, what they oh, call wow. Spanish. So yeah, yeah, they were threatening. I, say, I hadn't with, heard of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a book called Rainbow Something, and I, I'm going to get the name. I'm going to read it. It's about 500 pages of facts in there that a lot of people have not heard, and I don't. I just get fascinated with this stuff because I'm thinking like I always like to know what's the root, what's the history of why we do things like we do today. You, you know, Absolutely. you can make hydroxychloroquine. Yeah. With, yeah. with, with, with uh, grapefruit. You mix it yeah. with grapefruit? Make it with grapefruit. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Wow. Vitamin C. Huh. Yeah. That's wow. And it made it sound so mysterious. Yeah. And so the body actually, when fed the proper amount of zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, um, will encourage your body to produce uh, HCQ-like compounds that protect you against these sort of um, things. HCQ is not only used for... Um, the C19 treatment, but it's also used for lupus treatment. It's also used for hmm. um, 
Well, it's used for a couple of different things, and it definitely did get vilified as a horse dewormer only. <laughs> you should be taking it as a human, yeah. but they well, absolutely you... give it to you as humans uh, as medication. You, you know, know what? I, now he alluded to this. I want to find out what you know. They had all these plastic glass things to protect you from the spread of these these germs, right? Mm -hmm. And what did they do with all those plastic things? Did they, they recycle them? them? Or did they throw <laughs> them back in the ocean and say, hey? You know, I would imagine some did actually end up maybe in a landfill, uh, hmm. ocean maybe. Uh, sure, they probably burned them. Uh, I mean, how, how silly. But I've often, I've often wondered, gosh, where did all those millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of masks go? You know, hmm. all these environmentalists screaming about stuff. <clears throat> we got all these weird pieces of cloth hanging out with our spit and our breath in them. Now the fish are wearing them. Now the fish are wearing them. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mask fish. Yeah. It's so For, funny that force, forcing the mass on the fish. <laughs> yeah, so I don't, it's just a lot of the stuff that's going on out, out there, and it's like, um, and, and people have you know, people keep saying, Oh, by the way, Mike, you would, you would know this because you could see, did Joe have a mask on the night of no. that? No. Okay. 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 No, because they made. Remember all the comments made about his mouth hanging open. Yeah. Oh yeah. When when he was when he was he couldn't he couldn't believe that Trump was <laughs> talking him down like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He, he just looked at him with his mouth hanging open like he was a flycatcher or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting yeah, I to see know. if there was any drool coming out. <laughs> that yeah, is that's interesting. Cool. That's interesting. Man, I mean, he is like far gone, and they, and I don't think like they did it. Woodrow Wilson, he when he had a stroke, his wife and, and they took over from there. Then the guy who was in the crushes with that um, FDR, FDR, who, FDR had the crushes. They would they want to uh, take pictures from the sh his chest up. Chest up, yeah. Uh, Kennedy before he would have meetings with with the uh, officials and stuff like that. He would have to get a shot in his back because he had terrible back back problems. Back yeah, pain. broke his back on one when he was in the navy. Yeah, yeah. So and so they, you know, but some of the people that they they finally they said if we just hold off and and because the shot the shot wears off in about an hour, so they would make him make him wait and wait, knowing that once he got into the meeting, he couldn't concentrate because the shot was yeah. wearing off. Yeah. Right. And so these little. Little things that that they they try to hide. Well, I, I can know why you want to hide it from the enemy. But well, you know, no Woodrow Wilson's the one that that brought the central banks, the Fed, yeah. into yeah. play. Yeah, I mean, he he was all about that. His place in history is was well deserved. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, FDR, so, FDR's. He, I, I truly believe he was complacent in the the attack on Pearl Harbor. He knew it was mm. coming. He didn't bother to say anything. The, oh, well, okay. the whole military complex was was they had their marching orders, just like they have the marching orders today. That's right. That's right. right. It is interesting that uh, the entire media complex uh, has turned up and. and um, you know, um, I don't know. What do we do about it? As well, as people, we're just supposed to love people, love other people, uh, love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, soul, strength. Um, love your neighbor as yourself. And yeah. it's going to be difficult because yeah. already that is being ratcheted up. On the left, yeah. they're, they're spewing their, oh, those people on the right have all this hate in their hearts. And I got to say, when I read some of these posts, it doesn't rile me up like, heck with you, I want to blah, 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 I want to pound my point into your head. It just makes hmm. me sad because I know what my heart is. Yeah. And I know that my heart is not filled with hate. 
Mm. And I know that I love my country, just like mm. maybe, dare I say, some of them love our, love our country. Mm. I have and a they, sock uh, puppet pointing at me saying, bad monkey, bad monkey. Bad monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Heart says one thing and my mouth keeps saying something else. <laughs> it's one of the things that it's going to take a while to get over, I guess. <laughs> and, and if you could have a chance, watch Tucker Carlson. He's over in Australia. And this girl, oh, yeah, that she's was just good. trying to put all kinds of stupid things. She that was saying was all kinds of stupid things. So he said, so he said, you ruined the relationship that we could have had to, in this interview because you come out lying. Yeah. Yeah. She, she couldn't uh she couldn't refute that. That that's a that's a good clip. Um I I don't think much of Tucker Carlson. <laughs> no. He, and then, there's some something not right with him. Something else going on? Yeah. And, I, and then uh, I got to wonder. I mean, all these guys, Tucker, uh Sean Hannity, um Yeah. Yeah. All these I guys. Did. Just got to wonder. You know. Yeah. I mean, Tucker's got some good points. Uh, but he, he he doesn't have enough to turn people around. Yeah, hmm. yeah. He's yeah. Oh, I can't believe that. Yeah, really, really. We've only known this for four years, and now you think it's right? Yeah, that's right. Arr. Arr. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. exactly. And uh, and then also the latest uh, Larry Elder, he showed like oh, the full. Uh, uh, was it Charlotte? What is it? Is it many? Was it Charlotte Hill? Uh, misquote that they've been misquoting. Charlottesville, North Carolina, with the uh, yeah. very fine fellas or whatever on both sides. Yeah. And uh, even that Spike Lee put it in one of, at the end of one of his movies. It was called the the um, the the Black Klansmen. At the end, they put yes. that lie there. Yes. And it's almost like, oh man, it's like I remember when Spike Lee used to have to beg for money, beg, 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 and I guess now he's on the in, inner circle, so. They say, hey, you know, now you're in the inner circle. You like being here, right? So here, let's tell the we're gonna at the end of your movie, you're gonna tell this lie. Right. Just say, yes, sir. Okay. So so if you watch that movie, you know, the lie is even put in there. But of course, these people never retract any any lies. They just tell them and move on to the next lie. I think it is funny that uh it took Snopes up until I guess last week to retract that story and say no no uh he was definitely talking about uh you know there's fine folks on both sides that, that happen mm. to protest peacefully protest yeah. now you sent me this thing about 50 some odd lies that have come and i was reading the one oh. <laughs> now that governor knows him i don't remember him modifying saying that the baby was was going to die anyway they just delivered the baby. Now, if they were, if the baby was going to die anyway, why would they have to go to the mother to say, do you want to kill the baby or not? So that particular quote, um, Trump was a little off the cuff about. Um, so I suppose that could be construed as a, quote, lie, but I don't think Trump was lying there. I think what he did was just got the quote a little bit fuddled up. Uh, meaning yeah. that he didn't have the exact wording that the governor used, mm. but he had the you, flavor of what he meant. Yeah, you know what? And, Trump never does anything by accident. No, no. Mm. no. Yeah, so maybe, when he says something that people people construe as a um, misstatement, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's he's got he's got a purpose behind. He's that. got a purpose for it. Yeah. He, that guy is just incredibly smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I would encourage you to go look or, at the original. Yeah, look at the original. Look at the yeah. look at the look at the quote that was um, put forth by the governor, and you'll see that yeah. that what Trump said in that debate lined up pretty much with what that governor said. Yeah. I mean, because because I, I remember clearly, I don't remember him saying, "Well, the baby is going to." I don't remember him saying, the, "The baby's going to die anyway." So. Because why? What would be the purpose of going to the mother? The baby's gonna die anyway. Just it's gonna die. Boom. Uh, like in in uh, parts of Russia where if a woman came in and they they delivered the baby all the way, they just put the baby on the shelf and and, and let the the elements, the cold weather, and the mother had to 
lay there and listen to her baby. I mean, they're they're hardcore. In uh, you're talking about the Killing Fields. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, S something similar to that. So wow. it's it's like um, ah, but anyway, anyway, the good news is is Jesus is Lord. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And today you've come here to save your soul. Well, yeah, oh, that's yeah. absolutely right. And today is today is your day, folks. I mean, there's no time like today to get saved because, you know, eventually we're going to leave these mortal coils behind. All this trappings of espionage and, and, and who does this and who does that. Who's lying? Who's telling the truth? Man, all mm. this is going to go away someday. It, and, this is um, all temporary. Yeah. Yeah. We have, have eternity left. That's absolutely right, yeah. man. So, you know, when you go to somebody and you hear them say, Oh, you your your folk have hate in your heart, show them love. Give them a little bit of uh give them a little bit of love. Just uh show them they're wrong. Don't tell them they're wrong. Hmm. Show them yeah, yeah. that they're wrong. Yes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna close it, close it out, and we'll see what happens today. Hey, what? Amen. It was some stuff we didn't talk about, but we will. So you oh, well, there will always be something for tomorrow. The world's alive. Amen. <laughs> you did not, Johnny. Wow. I was <laughs> coughing. Oh. Ah. Well, you folks in the Intervision FM universe, have a great evening.